If we take our dog out with a collar and lead, um, even if it's a flat collar, then if your dog is lunging or barking because it's anxious about another dog or about a person that it's seeing or whatever, then it's putting pressure on its neck. And if you do yourself put a little bit of pressure on your own neck and just push a little bit with your hand there, then you immediately feel um, tightening around the throat and you feel a bit panicky. Now just imagine that you don't have control of that and that somebody else is putting that pressure on your neck and you start to see how a dog might feel even if it's a flat collar that it's pulling into, still putting pressure on the neck. That is going to make your dog more reactive rather than less reactive. So what we want to do is take that pressure away. Um, and the way that I like to do that is using harnesses. The things I look for in a harness are no points that tighten on the dog. So no tightening under the arms or across the back or chest. Nothing that restricts the dog's movement. So no straps across the front of the legs or shoulders. I'm looking for a connection on the back behind the shoulders and a connection on the front of the chest. I'm also looking for plenty of adjustment to get a comfortable fit and soft webbing or fleece for extra comfort. Two that I like to use are the H harness, which has a piece that goes around the base of the neck and a piece that goes around the body. The T-Touch harness and the Makuti harness are both great examples of this. This one has a connection at the front of the harness and one at the back. I also like the fleece harness. This one's by Extra Dog, which has an X over the back. It also has a front and back connection and it's very comfy so it's especially good for those smooth coated breeds. Both of these allow us to use a double ended lead with two points of connection to the harness which removes pressure from the neck and allows us to influence the dog much more effectively. It positions us at the dog's shoulder rather than behind the dog and you can ask for a stop with a gentle signal upwards rather than backwards on the back and indicate direction with a forward signal on the front. So this way of walking takes pressure off your dog's neck and allows your dog to be much more balanced. Why not try it for yourself?